Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Brad Journo and welcome to episode 8 of Journo FC. It's episode 8 already and we're in line for our treble. We could win our third trophy in 8 episodes. It's tier 10. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit easy. But let's have a look at how the season's gone so far, how we've got there. And let's get into the cup final. Yes, guys, as you can see, we last met in the 9-4 thriller against Berry AFC in the FA Vars semi-finals. I've moved over to this side of the screen so that you can you can see who we've played and what the scores were. We played New Salamis and we beat them 3-1. Sean grabbed himself a hat-trick. Then we played Buckingham Athletic again. We beat them 9-0. We played them earlier in the season and beat them 10-0. That's a 19-0 aggregate against them. And I feel sorry for... I think who got sent off? No, they didn't get any sending offs, but Lewis Pelling and Andrew Heath, two sending offs for them. Roy's grabbed himself two. Luke got himself a penalty, uh, a hat trick from centre back. And then we played sent, uh, Pantelimon. We got, we won 4 0. Sean grabbed himself two goals to take him to 49 goals for the season. Looking at this team, he's got 24 assists. JD's got 47 goals, 18 assists. We're really going to struggle. Like, Sean is wanted by Birmingham, Derby, Luton, Reading, Sheffield Wednesday. Meeks is wanted by Sheffield Wednesday. Corky's wanted by loads of clubs. Ethan's wanted by loads of clubs. Luke's wanted by loads. Like, so many players wanted by so many teams. It's going to be a really difficult summer. But we're going to play. We've got Bridlington Town coming up in the FA Vars final to be played at Wembley. There's a link to me in Bridlington Town. Um, my family, my mum's side of my family, all live in Bridlington. I used to go there every summer. I still go up there quite a little, quite a bit to go and see them, obviously, pre-COVID and stuff. Um, my late grandma lived there. My granddad lives there. My auntie lives there. My uncle lives there. My uncle actually used to play for Bridlington Town. Um, yeah, it's, there's a link. It's quite, it's quite fitting. There's a lot of narrative in this final, and I'm really, really looking forward to playing it. To play Bridlington Town in Journal FC's first FA Vars final. Man, this is going to be fantastic. Um, were we in the FA Cup this season? I can't remember. Did we play the FA Cup at all? We didn't play the FA Cup this year. So I think after we played the FA Vars, I think we'll be in the FA Cup for next season, which will be fantastic. Because it's our first year, so we don't get that cup run in the FA Cup. We haven't lost all season. This is This is absolutely unbelievable stuff. This... Like I said, we've got two games in the league, but we, we, this is going to be our final game that we see of this season before the summer break. Um, we're going to do those last two league games offline. They're not worth it. Um, we we're on 90 points. We can get to 96, which is the biggest. We, we can't get any higher than 96 points. So 32 games, 96 points. We're well on top. Uh, Mitchell Proctor's a player that I've looked at just in case we need to, to bring anyone else in. Um, we had under 18 to come in. Our first batch of of youth players came through. If we look at the squad, you can see that their potential is not amazing. Adam Chamberlain came in. He's okay. His determination is quite high, which is quite nice. But I think it's compared to the players we've got now, they're just not very good. A few more guys came in, as you can see here. JD and Darth are there, but Chamberlain's in that squad. Stefan Brake's in that squad as well. He's he's very good, actually. He, he is very decent. If we ever played with an attacking midfielder, he'd probably come into that role. 16-year-old Belgian kid. If you know any Belgian, if you're Belgium in the comment and you want to rename that regen to one of you guys, that's the whole point of this series. The regens, most of our regens, if we play them, if they get a first team debut, they'll be renamed to one of my Twitch subscribers or someone down in the comments below. Let me know what your regen name would be for Stefan and we will rename him and we will make sure that he gets a first team debut next season, so long as we can keep him around. If he gets sold, I can't promise anything, but we'll try and get him a first team debut with, that, with his new name. But let's try and link something in. If you like, if you want to rename him, drop it in the comments down below, and my and the favorite one will get pinned, and then we'll we'll change that for the next episode. Wow! And the, oh, before I go anywhere as well, thank you to all of those that brought shirts. The Journal FC shirts. The last day you can buy them is today. So if you're watching this right now and you haven't brought one, the link is in the description, and it will be the final video that link is in the description. Grab yourself a jersey. So, loads of people out there have got them. Thank you to Corky. Thank you to Roy. Thank you to Bullions. Thank you to everybody. Mark, Ethan, Josh, Legends. Every single one of you. Thank you so much. It's 
I can't wait to see you all wearing them and walking around and getting five aside football teams sorted. That's going to be the best thing about it. I'm really buzzing. I wanted to build up to Wembley. I want to do the the what's it called the pre match conference, the one press conference. That's the one. I should know what that is really. But we are we're going to have trouble keeping a lot of these players. Ollie's un unhappy because he want he's lost the trust in me, even though he's played. He's played eight games, 20 off the bench and scored 19 goals. He's lost his trust in me. That doesn't help us. That really doesn't help us. The Matty Wolf loan is probably going to save us, I think. Um, these guys need... I don't want release clauses in these guys because I'm just going to reject every single offer that comes in. And I just pray... I just pray that the board don't automatically accept them. Because if the board automatically accept them, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Especially if we lose all of our team. We'll have a look at the Bridlington Town team quickly, see if they're going to be missing anybody for this game. I think I think that's the key, to know what they're missing. What are they like, actually? Where are they sat? They're fifth in the Nat League, but lower than Yorkshire Amateur. Okay, I mean, they're not, no one's really standing out. They're Pete, Peter Davidson, they're 17 assists. He's not too bad. Brett Agnew in charge there. No one really... Really stepping in. He's 17. Okay, it's not bad. Not too bad. Alex Wood. Alex Barkwood looks to be going to Gainsborough. Nia Payne. No one really standing out. Let's see there. Let's see if they're going to be missing anybody for the final. We're, Mike, Mike, by the way, picked up a serious, serious injury. Eight, between four and seven weeks for a for the starting left back, which means Darth Vin, Vindictus is going to have to come in and start for this game. He's very good. I'm not. I'm not too bothered. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely fussed about Mike missing out. He's put in a shift this year in terms of his assists. It's been absolutely fantastic. 17 assists in 26 games. Who hasn't scored? Merrick hasn't scored. Miss hasn't scored. Joe hasn't scored a goal yet. I'd like to see Joe score. I might put Joe on penalties for this game. See if he's if if he plays, he gets a penalty. I'm trying not to sign players as well. I'm really trying not to sign real life players because I want to try and keep this core, this really good core of players in our team for as long as possible and try and use regens from the earliest, earliest stage. That's the team that wants us to play. We're the favourites for this clash. Bridgetown have already won the FA Vars. When did they win the FA Vars? That looks... They won the FA Vars in 1993. Oh, that's awesome. We're looking to win it in our first year. The club's top goal scorer, Ethan Woodworth, in the cup. It must be just in the cup, right? Because he's only scored 26 in all in all comps this year. They must be mainly in the cup games. Cup, 14 in the cup. Wow, that's unreal. 14 cup goals. I wonder if we'll score any more today. I really, this is going to be fantastic. If we win this, FA Vars treble winners is on the cards here. Like I said, Amptel in the first of May. I don't care. They're not important anymore. Whole team meeting. We don't need to. We're too good. Attend the press conference. Let's start it. It's going to have a massive impact. Uh, smile widely. Uh, Wag Finda. I'm surprised press conference. This isn't the, going to be faint-hearted. Let's, yeah, let's go there. Brett will be a tough opponent. Smile warmly. I'm thinking you lot are twisting my words a bit. I'm confident. Yeah, there we go. I think we are a better team and favourites to win. We have to play well, of course. But I like our chances. Of course, he's playing well, enjoying his football. Uh, Ethan isn't for sale. I think it's easier to deal with someone. Yeah. I think he'll start. Yeah, I think Joe. I think I'm going to start Joe. So I think I think Lee's injured. I think McKins is injured. So I think I'm going to start Joe. Vaughan. Rotherham want Ethan. Fuck, you know, we're going to really struggle for some players, I think. Yeah. Joe's going to start. Let's hopefully we can grab him a goal from right back. He hasn't grabbed one yet. Plenty of assists, like I said. Double figures for assists would be lovely for, for Joe. The game is tomorrow. Ticking by, ticking by. I'm, I wanted to do a complete playthrough for this one. I wanted to do something a little bit different, completely unedited. See how we just talk about things in the lead up. I, I'll be honest, I didn't realise I wasn't on game day already. And I click record and then I realised. So, it's just going to be one of those today. But, oh, I want to know what your predictions are for next season. Get them in early before you see any squad changes. 
get your predictions in for next season very, very early as well. That's that's what I want you to do. Because if you can and you get something right, there'll be something on your way. And yeah, I'm holding the screwdriver. It's like my pen. I'm just like, it's like what I, I draw with it. I'm just like, saves me chewing on a pen again, ink all over me, I think. Yeah, we've already won the league. I'm really not bothered. Like, this, it keeps sending me league information. I'm just like, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't care about the, about the league anymore. We've we've won the league. We're promoted. Who does? Who cares about it? Who cares about the league now? Come on. Build-based FA Vars final. Bridlington Town at Wembley. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic stuff. Oh, who's... I think I think our first player to be over a million pound is going to be huge as well. Like Sean's worth two hundred and fifty k, but I'm only going to sell him for like his stats. He's physically ridiculous, physically men like unbelievable. Forty nine goals all season. He needs to score today. He needs to hit fifty. I didn't think he would, but I think I think he's going to hit fifty. We're going to go positive. That's what we want to see. We've got two centre backs on the bench. Lachlan's going to drop out for. Martin Wheeler, to you, you there, you there. I'm going to put Josh Cowley on. No, I'm not. I'm going to put uh, Merrick on as well. I, I want I want Merrick to improve a little bit inside the team. He's unsuited to that role. If Corgi's unsuited to that role, I might switch him off once the game starts. See what he prefers to play in. Jordan Latham starts to, for them. Darius Smith, Eddie Cass, Lewis Riley, Joe Lamplow, Alex Woods, Sean Chidanki. Chid, Chidan, Yika, Peter Davidson, who's their uh, assist maker there. He would look out for him. Jake Miller, Leon Dawson, Liam Travers, Scott Pocklington, Fayek Chowdhury, Darren Smith, Billy Logan, Jake Rose, Joe Danby, Chris Brady. But for us, we have Andrew Jeter, Wetty, Joe C.B. Bloomfield, Omega Luke, Roy Schruders, Darth Vindictus, Barry Richards, Matty the Wolfmeister Wolf, Ethan QZ Woodworth, Corgi Rutter, JD Meeks, Lazy Number Nine, and Sean Harden. Mike Mist is in there. Diogo Jesus, Mayan Wheeler, Mike Merrick, Mark Cribbin, Embreezy, Mike Bride, and Ollie Kennedy. This is going to be an absolute game for us. This is huge for us right now. Pump fists, pump fists, pump fists. Come on. Let's do this. We haven't lost a game all season. I don't want to lose one now. Come on. We're at Wembley. All the fans are ours. Look at all these Journal FC shirts in the building. Both teams in their home kit. A few, a few uh, Brid fans over there. I still can't believe we're playing Brid. It's ridiculous. Five minutes in, we've had three shots. We've got a throw in though. Darth Dictus over to Sean. Back to Baz Richards now. Big Baz. Roy Schruders. Come on, Roy. Hold it up. Plays it all the way back to, to Jeter in goal. Conceded four the last time we recorded a game. So I really hope he doesn't do that again. Sean gets his head over to JD. JD into Ethan. Ethan holds it at the edge of the box. Corey's in and he's offside. He's offside. Okay. Let's see. Where's What position is Corgi playing in as a winger? He wants to play inverted winger. I can do that for you. I can do that to you. I'll put Ethan on inverted winger as well. Why not? Why not? We'll switch that around. Bridlington's um, rivals, by the way, are Scarborough. And I've got a Scarborough shirt up there. So there's a little bit of... Nibble, little bit of nibble in the in the office. A little bit of nibble, a lot of love for the Bridlington. I really hope we get to play each other more as this save goes on. I want there to be a storyline with this club. I really do. Barry, long ball over to Ethan now. Can he get himself in the box? He does. Shoots. Saved by Latham, and it's thirty, nearly up to thirty-five minutes gone, and we've not done a lot. We're going to press their young midfielder. Ethan collects the ball on the edge of the box. Roy, back to Ethan. Roy has it. Come on, you two. Passing it between each other. Luke, over to Roy. Left-footed cross. And the goalkeeper deals with that easily. Long clearance. Luke picks up with ease. And that's the end of that highlight. Darthing Dictus. Short throw. Richards into Ethan. Long shot. Harden. It's offside again. Val 2 disallowed goals already. And we should be 2 or 3-0 up by now. I'm, I'm sorry, but we should. We really, really should. We've had, I mean, XG is not even 0.5. It's just under 0.5. Oh, this is not fun. This is not a fun game at all. We're going to go into the dressing room. We're going to pump fists. They don't like it. They don't like 
they're a bit motivated. They're a bit. Come on. Everyone's motivated a little bit. No one's playing amazingly well. Ethan and Roy are playing fantastically. Darth is, I've praised them there, which probably wasn't the best thing to do. Corky's on a 6.2. I'm going to take him off early. I'm going to take him off very, very early. I'm going to move Ethan into the striker role. And I'm going to bring Mark Cribbin into this role as an advanced playmaker on support. No, on attack. Play Baz as the... Box to no. What is Matty Wolf? Nah. Swap them two round and play Baz as this player here. We'll play it. We've made two changes on the 55th minute. We need to fire them up, encourage them, or something. We need to get a goal. We need a goal. I do not want this going to any further than 90 minutes. I really, really don't. I don't want to lose this game. All over. Miller now. Over to Dawson for Brid. Matty with the challenge. Okay, Miller picks it up. Forward. Okay, this is not what we want. Travis gets his head to it. Jeter with an acrobatic, beautiful save for us there. What's he going to do with it? He takes it to the edge of his area. Long ball over the top. JD collects, chests it down. Takes a shot easily for Latham to, to claim. Chest Claims it into his chest. Come on. Smith over to Rose. They've made a change. Smith's on. Luke headed clear. JD now picks up the loose ball. Matty Wolf, Long ball over to Sean. Chests it into his path. Into the area. Takes another shot from distance. I, have we got shoot on sight one or something? Because hit early crosses. No. Work ball into the box, I think. Lower tempo. Play through the middle. And... I really don't know what to do here. We've only made one change here, right? Yeah. The one's not playing particularly well, but I don't really want to take him off here. Can anyone play particularly well over on that left? No. No one's going to be amazing on that left-hand edge. I think, I think I'm going to shift Ethan to the left. Mark will stay in as DLP. Matty as the box-to-box. -box. Baz over there. And we bring Breezy on. I'm going to switch them two around. I'm actually going to play Breezy out on the left. As an inverted winger. Ethan can go back on as a winger. Let's see if Breezy can make an impact on this left hand side. If not, I think I might switch him over to the right. And overload that right hand side. Maybe as like a wide playmaker or something. Schroeder's over to Ethan. Ethan plays it back to Mark now. JD heads it on. But no one's there to pick it up. Cass with the clearance. Up against Travers. Which is... Bridlington seem to be a bit more in control in the second half. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that. Breezy to Schroeder's back to Darth. We play it out of defence very comfortably, but it's a little bit nervous when we're being a little bit overrun. JD now he plays the ball over to Ethan on the right hand side. Can he get a cross in? Please do. He does. Mark shoots and scores, and Geno FC take the lead in the 74th minute. That is so late. That's probably the latest goal we've scored in the game. All season. That is... Oh, that's stressful. This has not been an easy game for us. I think they might even be like a division or two up. I don't think they're a tier 10 side. Luke's got his head on it and it's 2-0 from the corner. That's his 10th goal of the season from centre-back. Double figures. I think that's game now. I think that might be game over. Joe is there. Sean and JD haven't scored. I'm going to take JD off for Kennedy. And let's see. Just under ten, just over 10 minutes to go. Time is ticking down quickly. Six minutes in the 84th minute. Kennedy picks up the throw from Joe. Cribbins back to Luke. Luke's ball over to Sean is in. Back to Breezy. Shoots and saved by Latham. Latham has been very, very strong for Brid. And that is a goalkeeper that they can definitely rely on for next season. They sit fifth in their league, like I said. So they're not gonna they're not likely to get promoted. They're not in a promotion race or promotion push or anything because there's only one automatic spot we're going to praise at 2-0 up with just the extra time to go four minutes of added on time kennedy picks up the ball plays it into ethan can ethan cut it across to sean he doesn't takes a shot and it ricochets off the upright we're still 2-0 up this is we've we've restricted them well but they were comfortable and there you have it ladies and gentlemen journal fc have won the treble in their first season one season three trophies Who's the GOAT? We're the GOAT. We're the greatest team of all time. 
like, and I'll say it now, we will be the greatest team of all time. We're at Wembley, and the trophy is not up, up now. It's up now. We've lifted the trophy. The referees are clapping. They're clapping. I'm clapping. We're all having a disco. Jeter's like, yeah, double pump in the fists. We're walking around Wembley, going to the home fans over here. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Jeter's doing cartwheels and everything. Six, All six foot four of him doing cartwheels. I don't know who that is holding the trophy, but wow. A treble winning team in our first season. We're, I'm well happy. I am so, so happy. Solid work, solid work, solid work. That's, that's beautiful stuff from us. That is absolutely beautiful stuff from us. Mark Cribbing grabbed a goal. Omega Luke grabbed his 10th goal of the season. Sean couldn't grab, quite grab his 50th goal of the season at Wembley. We're going to go to the press conference. Everyone wanted this badly. Fantastic from the players. Top quality goalkeeper. 287 minutes since he conceded. The game is uh, it's brilliant. Bit of play. Absolutely bit of play. The whole squad is massive and Barry is no different. Barry is beautiful. We love Big Baz at Journal FC. We've pleased the board already. I've pleased the board already. Who's who's Whitley Bay won it three years in a row? That is unbelievable, by the way. That is they've won it four times since two thousand and one. What a team! What a team! Roy was fantastic from the back. Defensive work, top notch. Big man Roy, he brought a shirt as well. Thank you to you. Wow, absolutely! I'm speechless. We're going to see something about Brett. Brett is a good manager. Brett is a great manager. Absolutely unbelievable that. We're treble winners. We are treble winners. Journal FC. Like I said, I'm not going to join you for those two games. We'll do an end of season wrap up video and a transfer special next episode. And I'll catch you all on Thursday. Oh, this is this is absolutely fantastic. Can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. Journal FC, treble winners. We've won the league the South Midlands Cup and the FA Vars will have the FA Cup run next season. Like two, still two games to go and we um, goal difference of 136. Sean scored 49 goals. He'll get 50. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported the series so far. A few years ago, I started YouTube content and I didn't really get into it. I didn't really enjoy it, but this has been totally different. There's some of you out there that comment on every video. They like every video. You share every video. You're in the streams every time. And I thank you. I thank you all so much. But however, if you haven't liked this video, please do click that thumbs up button. If you're new and this is your first video, go back to number one. Watch all of the drama again. Watch all of this fantastic series again. Click the subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on and drop a comment below on what you want that region to be called and if you if, if you pick the best name i'll pin it and next episode you will see me change his name thank you very much for watching i've been brad journo this has been journo fc thank you very much goodbye